Welcome back to Inside and Southeastern Baseball with head coach Matt Reiser, presented by your local Southern Quality Four Dealers, Champagne Beverage, and also Buddy's Bar and Grill right here in Hammond. And uh, coach, your team went on the road, and Friday night you would take on the ULM Warhawks, and uh, really was dominant from the beginning. Scored a lot of runs, it seemed like, early on and, and throughout the game, and Andre Tutora was good once again. Yeah, you know, we did a good job of just kind of keeping that momentum. We'd won four in a row, and then Friday night we come out. Uh, we knew Monroe would be able to pitch it. Uh, that, that was kind of the, the stats and report had it that they would really pitch it well. We scored three runs in the first inning, uh, and they do a good job coming back scoring three runs in the bottom of the first. But here we are back 3-3 again, and kind of a restart so to do, and we scored three more runs in the second inning and end up extending our lead, and we end up winning 13-4. Kids did a good job just staying with the plan. Lions take game one of the series against ULM as we're going to go out to Warhawk Stadium and check out the game two highlights. Well, you take the first game on Friday night. This is Saturday's highlights. Uh, a game that your team started off fast and just didn't finish this one as we're going to see throughout the highlights. Yeah, you know, as we talked about against Grandma, we did a good job uh, Wednesday and Friday. We got some leads and we continued to extend, extend, extend. You know, in the game of college baseball, uh, there's never enough runs you can score. You know, people can accuse you of running scores up. When you're dealing with 18 to 22 year old kids, you can never score enough. Uh, and Fisher had the absolute, I mean, that was a ball absolutely crushing. Oppo gap with two strikes, bases loaded, two outs uh, to put us up five. I have nothing there, and, and, and the chase there starter, uh, Mr. Leone, who was actually pretty good. You know, we did a good job of uh, kind of taking what he gave us. We only had three hits off of them. We had five runs. We took our, our walks and made uh, took advantage of their miscues. Little lefty did a good job of coming in and throwing strikes. He comes in and fi throws five and a third against us. You know, got us out front in the soft lefty and. Uh, the zone got expanded a little bit, but he did a good job of, of continuing to expand it as well. You know, he kept hitting his locations and uh, did a good job of keeping us at bay. Tate Cino had a kind of an interesting ball game in this one. He struck out 10 in the first five innings of this one. They gave up a few runs in the six, but overall another solid start by Tate. Uh, another fantastic start. You know, there were some high emotional uh, points in the game early. Uh, you know, bases loaded, and, and we had a, a, a HPP, not HPP call, and. So we, we had guys going back and forth a little bit, you know, jockeying, so to speak. But uh, he did a good job of just keeping his composure and just kept competing and competing. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we, we should have got a win for him. We pulled him out. It was 5-3, and uh, we just didn't do a good job of adding to our lead. You see it's there, 5 nothing down the fourth inning. And that's where their guy did a good job. You know, they expanded off four to six inches off the plate, and the umpire kept calling us, and he kept throwing it. And I can't blame him. You know, it's up to our hitters to know the strike zone and see him expand the strike zone and just continue to fight that pitch off. Uh, but he did a fantastic job of kind of changing the pace of the game for him. Got a little YMCA going on down the left field line. I'll tell you, Monroe had a nice ballpark. Did a fantastic job with their crowd as well. And there's Miller going back out again, expanding that zone again on our lefties. We took a couple there for strike three. Coach, you're up five to nothing in this ball game. They, you got to give those guys a lot of credit. They come back. You know, you, you look to the first five innings, Tate Cino's cruising. He's got ten strikeouts. And then it just it kind of turned a little bit there in the second half of the game. Yeah, and you know, that's what we tell our kids. You got to stay in the planning process no matter what happens, whether we're, whether we're up five nothing, down five nothing. Uh, and, and we got away from that a little bit halfway through the game. You know, uh, props to their kids. You know, their, their coaches really challenged them after Friday night. We, we, we kind of run up the – Ran the score a little bit, 13 to 4 there, and really played fast and played well. And uh, their, their guys did a good job of challenging them, told them to come out and, and compete harder on Saturday and Sunday, and they did. Uh, we got up 5 0, and their, their kids kept competing, kept competing. They get the big home run, and then uh, obviously the big hit there in the eighth inning to beat us. The Lions and the Warhawks will play the rubber game on Sunday. Here's the action. All right, going to Sunday, the rubber match of the series. This was a low scoring game, not something you usually see on Sunday, but uh, Keller was good. Uh, the wind was blowing out. It was really an interesting game on Sunday. Yeah, you know, to be honest with you, they actually, uh, the guy they started against Ole Miss, they were trying to get back on weekends, and finally, uh, to be honest with you, I thought it was the best guy we saw. You know, both teams hit some balls hard. You see Andrew Godball absolutely lacing one there, and the third base made a fantastic play of taking away a double. Fisher hit one her, or harder early there at first baseman, and uh, the other guy did a good job, you know, just trying to continue to throw strikes. They were going right at us, and uh, you know, we made a mistake here to Seminole. They got some kids that swung for the fences, and, uh, and they did a good job of staying with the plan. Whether it was a strikeout or they hit the home run, uh, they did a good job of stay, sticking with it. And Seminole ends up getting the, the two big solo home runs. You know, we're tied at 2-2. Come right back at us. You know, this was a big play for us. Had bases loaded and full count, two outs. You know, we needed a guy to step up there and get a base hit. The guy did a good job making the play. 
Brooks Morris get his first start there at second base. We throw the uh, double play ball away, but Hoffman does a good job being back in position. And really, it was a big play. They're up one nothing at this point. Got a chance to add to it. Um, and then Keller settles right back in and, and goes back and gets the lefty out there. Gives a chance to come back in offensively and do some stuff. Brooks Morris gets his first home run. He's running off the field there of his entire career, Little League and college baseball, high school baseball. And then Keller gets the punch out there to end the inning. We come back in and we score another run to make it 2-1. to one. But at the end of the day, Monroe comes back, scores too late to win 3-2. Well, Coach, unfortunately, uh, you dropped the series to ULM. Uh, it kind of a, a low-scoring game on Sunday. The wind was blowing out, but two really good pitching performances and just come up one run on the short end of the stick. Yeah, you know, Kyle Keller did a fantastic job running out. Gives him a great start. You know, all starters, that's where our strength has been, and we knew it would be. Um, they've done a good job going out every time so far. In 11 ball games, we've got 11 quality starts, which, which, which is a good point about it. Uh, their guy came out and had a quality start as well. I think that was probably their best guy that we saw. He did a good job of dominating the strike zone, and uh, he worked his little slider cutter thing in there along with his fastball. And we hit some balls hard, but so did they. And at the end of the day, you know, we came short in the stick. We did a good job of kind of battling back, you know, with the, the solo home run and uh, took the lead there for a little bit. But they come back at the end of the day and they get the win. All right, well, let's take a break. When we come back, Coach Roger will be off the set, and we're going to be joined by the owner and operator here at Buddy's Bar and Grill, Scott Henderson, right here on Inside Southeastern Baseball with head coach. Coach Matt Roger, presented by your local Southern Quality Ford dealers and Champagne Beverage. Stay with us.